In this video, we're going to load all of the individual ping files that were output from AutoCAD here in Photoshop. And to do this, we'll use a script. Go up to the File menu and choose Scripts. Load files into Stack. Use Files. And then click Browse. Locate the Output folder within the Chapter 7 folder. And this is where you output the individual ping image files from AutoCAD, one for each layer. We're going to select all of these images by clicking the top image, holding down the shift key and clicking the last image. Click open, and those are transferred here into this list. And we don't want to align the images, and we don't want to create a smart object. So make sure both of these are unchecked, and then click OK. The script goes to work, aggregating all of this content into a single document so that the individual ping images become layers now in Photoshop. And this will help us replicate the structure that began in AutoCAD now here in Photoshop. So we have the name of the drawing, which was Kitchen. We have the name of the layer, in this case layer 0. It's really not a ping file anymore, but I'm going to just leave these in here for the sake of history. Now, in AutoCAD, layer 0 is typically not used. And sure enough, this layer is completely black, with no drawing on it whatsoever. So we can safely throw this away. Just drag it into the trash. You can toggle off individual layers to see what's on each particular layer. This is the equipment layer, fixtures layer, shelves layer, and so on and I'll toggle them back on by clicking and dragging upward to turn them all on in a row. Now the problem that we now face is that each layer contains not only the drawing in white pixels, but also a field of black. And the black pixels are what is obscuring the content of the layers below. So we need to get rid of all of the black pixels. Fortunately, that's very easy to do. You can use the magic eraser tool right here, and we want to be very precise with this tool so that we can be sure that we are only getting rid of pure black. So let's not anti-alias, and let's turn the tolerance all the way down to zero by dragging to the left on this word tolerance. The pixels don't necessarily have to be contiguous. We want to blow away all of the black pixels on the layer. So all I have to do is click anywhere in this layer where there's a black pixel, and it's going to get rid of all of the black pixels on that layer. And you can see the thumbnail has largely become transparent. I need to select the doors layer and click on it over here to get rid of all of the extra black pixels there. So we're just going to repeat this process. Click on equipment and then click over here, but be careful not to click anywhere over something that might be white, or you will use this tool to actually remove the white pixels, which is the opposite of what we need. So I'm just going to click here, click here, back and forth, get rid of the black pixels on each layer, and to save a little time I could hold down the spacebar and drag this image over. I could go into this mode, I press F where I can then drag this around. And so I can, if I had hundreds of layers, this would just be a little quicker. I could go back and forth without very much mouse movement. In this case, I'd only had a few layers, so not so important. I'll press Shift F to go back to this tabbed interface. Now we have another problem, which is now the black pixels are gone, but I can't see the drawing because there's no contrast. So we can remedy that by creating a solid color fill layer. Click this icon and choose solid color and drag the target here all the way down into the lower left hand corner to get pure black. Click OK. However, this layer was created on top of the previously selected layer. Therefore, it's obscuring the windows. So we either need to drag this below or we need to drag this one above. That way we can see the windows now. So at this point, we have independent layer control, just as we once did in AutoCAD. 
Our next task is to invert this image so that we have black lines on a white background. So let's start by double clicking on this layer thumbnail here and making this white. Then I'm going to select this layer, scroll up to the top, hold down shift, and click the top layer to make a selection of layers. Then open up the layer panel menu and choose new group from layers. Let's call this line work from AutoCAD. Okay, so now we have a group that contains all of those layers. Let's open it. Select the top layer here and then add an invert adjustment layer by clicking this icon. Now the invert adjustment has no options so we can close the properties panel. However, right now, the effect of this is passing through the group and also inverting this layer, making it black. That's not my intent. So we can fix this by selecting the group itself and changing its blend mode from pass through to normal. So now the effect of this invert adjustment is contained within the group. You can close the group now. And so we have the white color fill showing up underneath all of these layers. Go up to the image menu and select trim and choose top left pixel color and click OK. That's going to get rid of all of the extra pixels here. However, it crops it tight to the edge of your line work. So we need to give a little padding. Let's go back up to the image menu and choose canvas size and change the units to percent and type 120 tab 120 so that we have a bit of border around the drawing. Click OK and there we have it. We've set up this structure in Photoshop so that we have independent layer control and we've successfully accomplished our goal of transferring the information from AutoCAD into Photoshop.